today we are taking you along with us on an ultimate food tour of Tokyo. Joining us will be our friends, Japan food experts. You may know them here on YouTube as Tabi Eats. <laughs> Welcome to Japan! We'll be trying the local fare. I, I can't wait for this one, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> this looks way too good. Eating bizarre Japanese delicacies. <laughs> oh, that's a big piece! <laughs> and indulging at a literal hidden restaurant tucked away in Tokyo. It's even difficult to even Google map. Trust us, you don't want to miss this one. What's going on, Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to our Japan travel series. Today we'll be meeting up with some familiar faces, some good friends, for some awesome food. And we are here in a very local part of Tokyo. Honestly, we had no idea this place existed, but we're here to eat some ono grinds and have some good conversation with some good friends. Hey! hey. hey. There you are! <laughs> Welcome to Japan! Right, Foodie Ohana, so we are here with Tabi Eats and for the first time we are on their home turf. They'll be taking us around today. And if you guys have not heard of them already, please check the links down below and check out their channel, Tabi Eats. Right now we are in Nakano, which is our neighborhood. It's very local and this place is famous for ramen as well as lots of delicious street food. So you guys are in for a treat. Alright, let's go. Let's get going. This area is called Sun Mall and it's very local. Look at all these little shops. And Shinichi did mention that this is one of the oldest malls here in Tokyo. I love the charm of this area. First stop, we're gonna start off with breakfast since it's early in the morning and uh, Felix is like super, super hungry. Uh, it's what I consider the best melon pan in the entire city. I hope you guys agree as well. But anyway, that's where we're gonna go to right now. They won an award four years in a row for the best curry bread. Two? Yeah. Are you guys you guys can eat one whole one? Oh, this is huge. Oh yeah. It's hard not to get one of everything. I know. <laughs> everything looks so good. So the first spot that we went to, this will go so good with our coffee breath. <laughs> but <laughs> it was called Bonjour de Bon, and they are known for their melon pan. Yes. Ooh, and we love melon pan. So oh, pretty. Yeah. This is so good. Mmm. Yeah. Dakimashou ka. Dakimasu. Mmm. You didn't get to the maple syrup yet. Mmm. Mmm. Don't you think it's better than like one from the 7-Eleven? Mm -hmm. It's less dry. It's not too sweet too, which is really good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in Hawaii, it's like covered with sugar. Really? I finally got the center. I really like the subtle sweetness. And I'm a big maple syrup fan, so mm -hmm. I love anything maple syrup. Yeah. So very delicious. A nice crunch too. So this place is known for the maple syrup melon bread. I think it's rare that you find one with mm -hmm. actual maple syrup inside the melon pan. Yeah, yeah, There yeah. we go. Mm. Let me see that. Oh, wow. It tastes like a pancake. Yeah. There we go. It literally tastes like a hot cake, like a pancake. And yeah, the maple syrup gives it like a more deeper flavor than just regular sugar. I might have to get my own now because you kind of finished it. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> me and Satoshi will be doing the savory side of it. This is probably their second most popular item, would you say? Yeah. Yeah, this is like their curry bread, but look, already you can see a nice thin layer of panko batter on the outside. Their curry bread is really good. Really good. Yeah, I'm really so good. excited. I love this curry bread. Okay. Itadakimasu. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's so light and crispy. Curry is really savory. Very nice curry. I love this curry sauce. The texture and the outside is very sakuto. I love this texture. And there's two options you can get. You can get one with the half-boiled egg. We got the one with the tonkatsu. So you get an even more layer, extra layer of crunch mm. and porkiness. So mm. good. Vietnamese people usually eat curry with bread, like a French baguette. This kind of just reminds me of that. Very nostalgic. This bread tastes very rich because it's 
か秀勝インサイド。Probably get this every morning if I live there. <laughs> I can understand. <laughs> the melon palm for breakfast and this for lunch. <laughs> So, uh, they sell, here they sell bowl style cognac. It's called Tama Cognac. It's from Yamagata Prefecture. It's my hometown. I'm very happy to show you this food. It's a very popular food in Yamagata. So, this shop is kind of like a pop up shop and they're called Yamagame Hontan. This is a s i m a b in soy sauce dashi and regularly it's a squid. Usually, we put a li little bit of mustard on it, but this one is already. Uh, spicy because of the chili pepper. I've never eaten like that, so I'm very curious. Oh, it's jiggly. It's cognac. <laughs> cognac. It's konjac, right? Mmm. 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 It's well simmered. Very nice. Oh, it has a Ooh. kick. Mm. Yeah, a little mm. kick to mm. it. Okay. Mm. I like the texture too. Nice chewy texture. Kind of like a. Um, The clear gel boba, if you guys ever tried that. The color goes through to the center of this cognac, it's well simmered. Sometimes it's colored only the surface, mm. but this one, the soy sauce goes through the center. Mm, it's really nice, tasty. And it's virtually zero calories. And if you guys have ever tried those, like, those low calorie noodles, it's pretty much the same ingredient or thing that it's made out of. Yeah, definitely. This one already has flavor on it, so you don't really have to do much. But I like that it's like on the go. There'll definitely be more food on this street food tour here in Nakano, so stay tuned. And guys, there's even more shops down here in the basement. That's so crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see the show of how I do that. Yeah. This is the、uh, eight. Layer ice cream. This place is called Daily Chico. Must try when you're in Nakano. This is the first time I'm actually afraid of eating ice cream. Like, this scares me. Getting all the flavors. All the way to the top. Up sweet. Cheers. Oh, man. It kind of tastes like a Neapolitan.、Like、it tastes like I'm eating a Neapolitan. It's so rich and creamy. When you eat it all together like this, you do like an upward strike to enjoy all the flavors. It kind of just tastes like when shave ice melts and you're drinking the syrup on the bottom, it's all mixed. Yeah, it's like a unique flavor that you just can't experience anywhere else. Like, I didn't think it would go all well together. But it does. I think there's chocolate, chocolate. grape, green tea, r a m e n e strawberries in there somewhere, maybe melon, vanilla. So basically, there's eight different flavors, eight different tiers of flavors, basically. I think I'm just gonna take it off the top before I.、Mm. <laughs> What about Satoshi and Shinichi? Oh, it's all. I got so excited. It's very milky, but not super heavy feeling. It's pretty light for like a very milky ice cream. The texture, it's not icy, like clumpy with ice or anything. It's very smooth.、Yeah. I will say, I definitely feel like a kid again.、Mm -hmm. This ice cream cone definitely did that, did that for me. This、uh, soft serve is actually quite healthy.、Uh, it's supposed to be low in fat, almost no fat actually. They're using milk, but no cream. So it's actually more like ice milk,、mm. which is why it's pretty healthy. Very light. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think I can finish this whole thing. <laughs> I'm not going to, but I'm gonna share. And they have、uh, seasonal flavors. It's a great kalpis. Lamune is a very interesting flavor. That's like Japanese soda. And the green one is, I think, it's pistachio, the one on the top. One of the must places to visit in Nakano.、Mm -hmm. And they're featured on a lot of TV shows, it looks like. Get the konyaku balls for lunch, <laughs> that for dessert. Dessert. <laughs> Furi Ohana, when traveling, always try different countries' delicacies. You never know what you might like and what you might not. So, what do we have today? This is a locust. It's a very popular food in my hometown. Locust, simmered in sweet soy sauce. It's crispy like shrimp, very tasty. This shop is called Bashia, located in Sun Road. 
in front of the Nakano station. Please try if you want. Thank you. <laughs> I will try. Thank I you. love this one. So I'm just gonna imagine shrimp and uh, maybe the one with the smaller stomach or <laughs> smaller <laughs> abdomen. <laughs> um, okay. Don't look carefully. Yeah, Don't maybe I shouldn't carefully. inspect this too much. <laughs> Just take you guys and can, pop into mouth. You guys, Furiwana, can take a closer look. I'm gonna close my eyes. <laughs> I a oh, piece. that's a big piece. <laughs> no, no problem, no problem. Many people don't like legs. Their legs. Yeah, I think it's the, the legs. Leg oh, one. man. <laughs> I got the leggy one. <laughs> this is a track and field locust. Okay. Itadakimasu. <laughs> yeah, itadakimasu. Mm. Very crunchy, sak sak. Wow. Mm, the sweet soy sauce and it's, a little bit dashi flavor. Mm, yes, and it's really earthy. Mm -hmm. It's really mm -hmm. bright tasting. It's so, it's hard to explain. No strange flavor. Just don't look at it, you know? Just <laughs> don't look at it. Oh, I got the legs hit my lips. <laughs> <laughs> it's really tasty though, I'm not gonna lie. It's really tasty. This food is my hometown pride. Do you eat this with uh, Gohan rice? Yes, or? Oh, on top okay. of rice. Or as it is, in autumn season, that we catch this locust in the field, rice field, and boil and simmer in the soy sauce. Give it a try, trust Good me. Good protein. It's like a, we're on a healthy kind of meal plan, right? Low calorie konyaku, low calorie locust, and then low calorie ice cream. So, next place is called Lefute and they're famous for these things called obanyaki and usually the original flavor is with the red beans inside but this one you have a variety like chocolate sometimes they have apple pie uh, they have sausage with mayo sauce which is savory very very delicious super recommended we are at lefu te they're known for this obanyaki it's similar to thai yaki but as you can see it's not shaped as a fish so normally these would be filled with just azuki beans red bean, but here they have a lot of different flavors. So Felix is going to do the savory, I'm going to do the sweet, soft, mm. pillowy. Oh, so this is their sausage mayo. Oh, it's one piece of ham. Oh. It looks like a, like a Canadian bacon type of situation. It's very like, uh, mochi mochi. Like this chocolate one, it smells like um, pudding, like jello pudding. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And if you turn from the side, it looks like an egg wing muffin. I don't know yeah. why. <laughs> no, what's that? The muffin? Is McGriddle. A, yeah, it looks like a McGriddle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It tastes like mayo with mustard mix. Very tangy. And it is like a Canadian bacon. Very thick cut. Oh, this is a good breakfast on the go. This is like eating a pancake, but a chocolate pancake. They even had a regular custard cream. I just really like the texture. It's very like a cushion, like cushiony. I don't know, pillowy. It's fluffy but chewy. Yeah, fluffy but chewy. It's very mushy but in a good way. It's mm. like in between a bread and a rice cake. It gives it a nice like cozy vibe. Uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> It gives you that very like back alley feel. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Is this, uh, would you say this is your go-to for Takoyaki? Uh, one of our go-to places. Shinichi and Satoshi have taken us to one of their favorite takoyaki spots. This is Takomaru here in the Nakano area. And we got some very interesting flavored takoyaki. Not the traditional ones, but these look amazing. So this one is the original takoyaki with ponzu sauce. And this one is the mentaiko with cheese. So this one has um, aonori seaweed, uh, katsurobushi bonito flakes on the top. Oh, it's oh. gonna be hot for sure. It's like torotto shiteru. Torotto shiteru. 
Oh, oh, oh. This might be um, controversial, but I'm gonna open the takoyaki. <laughs> it's too hot. Yeah, have you ever burned your mouth yes. eating takoyaki? Yeah. Many times. Yes. Itadakimasu. Papa. Mmm. 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 Oishi. Mmm. It's very refreshing, the ponzu sauce. It's surprisingly very light. And I guess because takoyaki usually has a lot of sauces on it, this is a nice little diversion, a little mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. The sourness too. A lot of people, a lot of foreign people uh, think that takoyaki has to be crispy on the outside mm. and fully cooked on the inside like you know like almost like cake mm -hmm. but actually good takoyaki osaka style takoyaki the inside is actually like this it's mm. a little runnier just something to remember because a lot of our viewers say you know we had a uh, uncooked takoyaki <laughs> but it, but these are fully cooked yeah, i feel like actually here they're they're a little cooked more than like osaka osaka mm. one is mm. literally like you can't. You can hardly pick it up. Mm, mm, sometimes, yeah, that's yeah. right. Mm. But I do like how this one. It does have a nice outer like shell. It's not hard or anything, but mm -hmm. it does have like a more texture, I guess, for mm -hmm. the outside. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about this place is that you can choose different sauces. They mm -hmm. have about uh, ten different sauces that you can choose from. If you don't like certain things of a regular takoyaki, you can mm -hmm. kind of customize it, mm -hmm. which is yeah. really cool. The shop staff is very kind. They gave us these small plates and water. And this one is takoyaki with cheese and mentaiko. Mentaiko is a cod roll. <laughs> cheese and mentaiko is a very good friend. Mm. Please try, please try. Oh, thank you. I notice in Japan, um, people really like cheese here. Yes, with mentaiko oh. especially. Ooh, mm. my mouth mm. is salivating. Look how big the serving of octopus is in here. They're very generous with the serving size here. These are huge chunks. Mmm. Mm, wow. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> it's very mm. good. Mmm. <laughs> Little cake, but it's combined with cheese bread and ends up creamy taco ball. Nicely mixed. I love the slight hits of spice on there mm. too. To tell this, yeah. I haven't eaten mentaiko and cheese with taco ball, taco like ball. This is your first this time? This is my first time. Oh, wow. Yes, and I realize this is a very good combination. And the taco is. So more food coming. Oh, they're inside of the yes. the soup. The soup. Yes. Oh, yes. soup taco ball. This is another way to eat taco ball. It's especially called the akashiyaki. It's perfect on this cold, rainy day. Yeah, it's a different experience for you, I think. It's yes, different very different. Regular taco ball. And green onion and the red ginger is an option. Put these condiments into your bowl as much as you like. Not too much. I think this is enough. Do we eat and then drink or? Uh, First, I recommend to sip a soup a little bit. Sip the soup, mm -hmm. okay. Let's try the... Enjoy yeah. the soup flavor as it is. Mmm. Mmm. Good dashi. Dashi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a very mm -hmm. light flavor, a little bit salty, almost like shio. Mm -hmm. Combined with negi flavor. Mm. I love this. It sucked up all the, the dashi. Mm. Oh wow, mm. it tastes almost like a seafood, very light seafood broth mixed in with the taco when mm -hmm. you combine the two. This shop, mm. they use much egg, so it's very nice with this soup. Oh, mm. it's perfect in this yeah. weather. Mm. Oh man. Another good option to eat takoyaki. Should we try with some locusts in here? <laughs> 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 Yohana. Now we are here in the area of Koenji and this is actually a spot that Shinichi and Satoshi highly recommended us to try. So we're here. Yes, so Amanda, we're here at Black Mountain Cafe located in Koenji. This is our neighborhood cake shop and it's one of the most popular cake shops in the entire neighborhood. We think they make the best fruit sandwiches in the entire country. And I know you like sweets, so let's start with this one. 
Oh my goodness, yeah. it's two-sided, the, the strawberries, mm. top and bottom. They use only the best uh, shokupan or white Japanese bread. Strawberries are in season right now. The cream like tastes like real strawberry cream, not one of those like mixed like fake strawberry mm -hmm. mix. It's yep. like real strawberry. Cream. There's a tartness of the strawberries in the cream, mm -hmm. and it's not overly sweet. It's very natural, and mm -hmm. the bread is very fluffy. They use uh, fresh cream from Hokkaido, I think, wow. and they whip it themselves. So everything's made fresh. I can't stop eating the bread. You sure? The bread goes so well with the cream. I hope you like blueberries. I do. Okay. I was. I'm eyeing this one out. It's okay. so pretty. The color of the the cream. Mm. You can see the blueberries throughout. Oh, it's so light. Hmm. Mm. Mm. You do have. You should get some of the fre fresh blueberries too. It's so light and fluffy. It's almost airy. And they use fresh blueberries. Very light blueberry flavored sponge cake with fresh whipped cream and fresh blueberries. Different flavor than normal like shortcake. Okay, so which one would you like to try next? We have chocolate, I'm pineapple, a banana. Okay. Is this creme brulee banana? Kind of, yeah. Oh. This is also one of my favorite cakes. Mm. Oh, banana tart so good. It's a, mm. lo a lot more starchier, the bananas here. And there's bananas on the inside, I wonder. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like real bananas. I'm gonna be all sweeted out after this. <laughs> Look at the huge chunks of pineapple. Mmm. Mmm. Well, I love the banana tart. I think I, I like the pineapple one a little bit more. The, the pineapple flavor is very fresh as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. The tartness is really great too. Mm -hmm. Goodness. Mm. I like how it's only subtly sweet. It's not sugary sweet. Very know? strong cacao flavor. Yeah. It's very deep as Dense. well. Yeah. Mm. It's a much denser cake. It's almost like like a no flour chocolate cake. If mm. you're a chocolate lover, that. Which one was your favorite? The blueberry mm. and the pineapple. The pineapple. Oh. Actually, two of my favorites. I, I can't wait for this one. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> this looks way too good. Mmm. Mm, oh my god, it's so amazing. It's so lightly whipped. The bread is so nice and chewy, but still fluffy at the same time. Oh wow, I'm completely wet, and I don't care. I totally forgot. Mmm, I'm just lost in the flavor of the strawberry sandwich. Oh my god. I agree, this is the best strawberry cream sandwich I've ever had. So we're still here in the Koenji area. This place is called Coffee Cone Tokyo and it is super one-of-a-kind type of idea here. He literally makes his own cones and house makes his matcha, puts it in this chocolate covered cone that he hand makes himself and then you have a little matcha drink. So now you get to enjoy your coffee and pastry at the same time. I love that he lines the inside of the cone with the chocolate. This season's flavor is sakura, very fitting of the current season. So there's a little bit of sakura leaves, the inside is chocolate, sakura chocolate lined cone, and of course the whisk matcha. How gorgeous this is. Today though we got the matcha, but you can do coffee here as well. <coughs> Matcha is very, very like ceremonial matcha, very strong matcha flavor, but it's smooth and it's not sweet. No, this is probably unsweetened. To get some sweetness, you like bite the bite cone. The cone. Mm. Yeah, I think that's a really smart idea because you want it to be a little sweet, eating it together tastes really good. Did you bite it already? Yeah, I did. Oh, you did. <laughs> Wait for me. Mm. Very crispy cone. Mm. It is a bit um, on the bitter side, so definitely if you are not a bitter person, eat the cone and drink at the same time. Cone itself is actually very light. It's not dense, it's so, so thin. And the chocolate, 
very rich and creamy. It's very satisfying on this cold, rainy, windy day. Yeah, I think if it wasn't so cold and rainy, we would probably get a soft serve because it looks like they do have soft serve. It looks really, really good as well. So if you're here on a sunny day, definitely get their soft serve as well. Furyohana continuing our local food tour here in Tokyo with Tabi Eats. We are going to a secret locals only restaurant and it's literally tucked away here next to the rail station. Look at that. Very inconspicuous location. I have to give a big shout out and thank you to Will for suggesting and recommending this spot. We're about to go through the little door that leads to the pathway. Let's go. Oh. You gotta watch your head. Can I make it through here? Oh. What are you doing? Okay, okay, I made it. Daijobu. ありがとう。ありがとう。はい。はい。あの、ご自身で。はい。はい。あの、ご自身で。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
Actually, the fish is cold, and only the surface is uh, grilled, and it's crispy. The it's crispy. top is the, the skin part is crispy, mm -hmm. but inside, the, the vinegar taste is really much with this, the flesh. Yes, mm -hmm. it's very refreshing and flavorful. Okay, so we got two orders of different types of toast. This is a tofu cheese toast. I think it's encased in honey, and then you spread it on this garlic toast. And I got uh, what they call Niku Jaga. It's basically Japanese beef stew that's simmered down. The one here is a twist on Niku Jaga, so it's not the traditional one. Mm. It's kind of more like an innovative Niku Jaga. Also with the soft boiled egg to make it to add extra creaminess on a nice rustic piece of toast. Mmm. Mm. Wow, beef is very tender braised so slowly to the point where it's like just falling apart in my mouth and that stew it's in it's very savory surprisingly this it, even though it looks like it'll be really really sweet it's actually pretty savory is this a garlic toast i thought it said garlic toast but that stew man i can just sop it all up with bread next thing we ordered is their take on the chicken karage but here they call it karage jang it's like a, their take on like sweet and sour chicken and it smells like there's kochujang so I believe they, I, I guess that's why it's karage jang. Kochujang is that Korean chili paste. Mmm, very light, crisp. Let's just call it that sweet sour sauce. I believe they use some yuzu in here to give it that acidity. You definitely do taste the kochujang. It has a little bit of heat, a little bit. So this next thing we ordered, the literal translation is manly fried rice. Is that what it is? And I'm not sure why. It got us so curious that we had to order it. Even where it says the price, it just says ask. So we went ahead and asked and we ordered. And honestly, it just looks like fried rice. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. And in Japanese, it even said that whoever is wielding the fry pan, we will fall in love with them. So we shall see. Cheers. So at the end of this, either I go home single or Amanda still goes home with me. <laughs> It's like wakame fried rice. It tastes kind of sweet. The rice is really good though, the consistency of the rice. If you're thinking of like Chinese style fried rice, it's not that. It's more like Japanese style rice, more moist, very soft, mushy. I, I personally probably wouldn't order it. Again. I didn't fall in love. It's good, but I didn't fall in love with anyone. So she's coming home with me. <laughs> Right, Foodie Ohana, that about wraps up our episode today with Tavi E. Thank you guys again so much for taking us around. Thanks for Enjoy having us. Enjoying all the local food here in Tokyo. We had so much fun going to Nakano, Koenji, and this hidden spot here in Tokyo. Thank you guys so much for having us and taking us around. It was our pleasure. Yeah, we had such a good time with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely check out their channel. We will be doing a collab with them and we will see you guys on the next video. All right, Foodie Han, until the next one, check out Tabi Eats' channel, explore your inner foodie. Peace out. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. review with uh, Amanda Sama. <laughs> Amanda Sama. Check this out. Amanda Sama. <laughs> I just feel like it's gonna start crawling any minute. Don't stop saying stuff. <laughs> Should we eat that too? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I can't unhold it now. <laughs> you didn't have enough sauce over there. <laughs> you can never have enough sauce. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to say what it looks like because I don't want to gross myself out. But you at home know what this looks like. Spicy cod ball. Umbrella juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my hand went numb. Sorry. What do you think, Amanda? Mm. I can't get to the inside. Yeah. Amanda, I'm not going to get to I think I got the one with the small pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> oh, Was that too fast?